Hey guys, we're remote in Florida for another Tech Tip Tuesday, and today I'm gonna to cover a question that uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with, has not been brought up, and is very important, and that is what pressure to run in the front tires on your drag car. This is a uh, tech tip that is actually learned by me from my friend Eric Yost, uh, Customs by Biggin. The guy's a great chassis builder, has built some really fast stuff, and is super knowledgeable in all things chassis dynamics and even more than that. A few years ago when we were running the Nova, um, he was on site with us and taught me something that has actually helped me so many times, and uh, that is what tire pressure to run in the front of your car. These cars obviously have skinny tires. Drag tires are typically either a bias or radial, but there's a lot of weight on the front of a car. You can actually see how this thing's kind of dipping down and uh, just what type of pressure it's under. So a few pounds makes a huge difference. When you're fighting a wheelie, there's so many factors that come into play. Suspension setup, power management, weight, everything else in between, and also tire pressure. Because that is so dynamically changed based off of the pressure it's often overlooked and a lot of people don't know about it even some of my drag racing friends i don't think realize quite the importance of it and that pressure and that tire will change a lot those wheels get real hot from braking the tires get hot out in the sun and we're always checking the rear tire pressure but very seldom the front tire pressure mine will drop uh on any wheel that i run you know it can go it could drop five or ten pounds in a week's time it could drop five pounds overnight during the course of a racing weekend a lot of times i don't check it or i used to not in the course of the last few weeks as we've tried to push this thing faster and faster it's starting to wheelie again uh one of the tips and one of the things that solved one of the wheelies was putting more tire pressure in it i actually run the et radial fronts on this because it's more of a street friendly tire um also bias plies eric said run those things uh, up to 45 pounds, which is completely different than uh, the 35 pounds I used to run in them. I just never knew. Nobody really talks about it. He was showing me on a slow-mo video, the sponge from being down acts as a spring. So as you're limiting the spring and the shock movement, you're limiting the overall travel, the tire actually has give and spring as well. So a lot of times if you slow down a car that's doing a real big wheelie, the first thing you'll do is kind of sponge off of that tire and that's extra travel to kind of give momentum to uh, make the car do a wheelie. Uh, if you've watched this video of my car, you can kind of slow down on the front tire and just see how stiff it is and how solid. Um, and that pretty much keeps the first movement from being up. So the first line of defense on uh, doing a wheelie can sometimes be the tire pressure. So don't overlook that. Hopefully that helps you guys in the future. Wheelies aren't any fun. They make great pictures, but they don't make good ETs and they make a lot of broken parts. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below if you have a question or an idea for a future Tech Tip Tuesday. We'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in.